Happy Monday. Thank you all very much for coming out. So, what are we doing? <laughs> Stuff. So, our army's out doing things currently against the demons. How about we run out of magic here? So, he just, our leader just leveled up. Getting more and more zombies and skeletons because the more people we kill, the bigger these to get. What's this? How oh, we got uh, some shield bearers? Blah. Oh, what are these guys? Champions. Oh, we can recruit champions now. Just not currently. So these are the same points we're using to build buildings and stuff, right? Five grand for the for uh, Hell Knights, thirteen of them, and we do have uh, some Hell Knights floating around somewhere. Get some more of these. No. Can we not? Uh, how's that work? Hmm. This army is in there. There we go. Actually, where's the army with the Hell Knights in it? There they are. Let's try this. Ta-da! Okay, 39 Hell Knights now. We still have 45 champions, 26 hit points, these are 164. So, melee unarmed strike? No. Oh. Why do they have unarmed strikes? They actually do a fair amount of damage. Anyway, that was all our money. Okay, so this army is the one that's technically guarding Dresden at the moment. Which is fine. That one's sitting in there. These are just regular spearmen. Are these spearmen? Those are archers. They just look the same. Okay. Marksmen. Barbarians. Should probably switch these guys around. Don't like you guys. Oh, these are uh, mounted scouts. 50 hit points, 79, 79 damage, only 20 of them. 25 of these guys. Eh, throw them in there instead of the barbarians. Barbarians are weak. <laughs> they, they died so... They were like at 30 or 40 or something like that, and they died so fast. Anyway. There. And then our big army. Ash and Grotto. Grotto. Somehow we have to get down there. Uh, all done moving for today. Hey, we're going to camp. After we check this out. What's going on here? Ah, uh, decrees. we got to rank it up. For my logistics council. No. Faith of Must Follow Might. Rank up. Okay. Uh, one can command a small unit alone, but to manage an army, one needs a staff council surrounded by experienced advisors. The commander will be able to make decisions affecting the life and morale of the entire army. Sure. Ziggurat still has 24 days to go. This is important to us as a lich. So. Okay, Gimpy and friends, you need to rest out here. Camp before we start. Camp before we start moving. Gimpy should make some more potions. 
No. There we go. Oh. Who was making potions for us? Ember was, I think. But Gimpy's making the food for us. I thought Gimpy was making potions. Guess not. She's really the only one decent at this, because this is what? Religious skill? Yeah, religion. Gimpy's religion is doesn't exist, so continue to rest. Hey, 3D Gaming, welcome back. Did you hear about the DLC? Which DLC? For this? I know there's a season pass out there, but as far as the DLC specifically, I only glanced at them like a month or two ago, so I don't really. Yeah, it, like I said, there's a season pass. Like right now, I think there's like three DLCs planned. And it's the third one. It's the more interesting one because it's supposed to be like a similar to Beneath Stonelands for Kingmaker and, you know, like an endless dungeon type stuff. That's the one I'm interested in. The other two will be okay, adding more content here and there. But uh, it's the third one that's the more interesting of the group, as usual. Anyway, and, uh, but a young gentle lady who has been forced to pick up the weapon, blah, blah, stuff. So is that what you were ta asking about? <laughs> so, the dragon. Where's the dragon supposed to be? Here's the other... Is you loading in your character to protect the space-time continuum? Is that what? Okay. <laughs> I like I said, I only glanced at them when they, when they were announced like a month or two ago, and I don't remember specifics about the other two. It's like I said, it's the third one that's got my real interest. Dragon Hunt. So he claims that he has a plan to track down his dad, Dragon. The first step is to set up an ambush in the Grimwood Forest. For the trickster sounds terrible. I. Why? Why does it sound terrible? Okay, that's where our army is. Sorcerer's Fortress. Let's go see what's up here. Let's see what we can build here. Build. Okay, so we can build a supply center. Again, it's all about the supplies right now. Because the trickster will absolutely 100% screw with the timeline. Ah! Well, I wonder what, how, how much of an effect it's going to have. And I wonder what they really mean by playing with the timeline. I mean, what does that really mean? Let's go trying to get up that way, but it looks like we have to go the long way around. Go all the way back to Lost Chapel, go there. Look, random encounter. Yeah, it's again, it's too vague and. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's it'll be what it's going to be. Get up, dinosaur. Hey, our skeleton has not returned. Or has... Oh, he has. It's just the formation's messed up. You're supposed to be there. He's supposed to be over there. Yep, that works. So, random encounter. What kind of random encounters, actually. Might as well do buffs. Trust in yourself. You can trust Just me. to be careful. Somebody remind me to do uh, get buff bot up and running for tomorrow. 
<laughs> Not that I'm gonna remember to do that. Skeleton is going to be buffs. Okay, good for now. Okay, it's not a random, random encounter, it looks like. Baphomet cultist cleric. The cultist smiles sweetly at you. Well, well, what are we here? The frustrated minted commander straight from Dresden. Here's what's going to happen, commander. You will give us a specimen 367. We will bring it back to Iz, to Master Bladesmith, and no one will get hurt. If you refuse, well, prepare to die. Ah, it's a sword. Blacksmith, is it? Uh, then I know who you creeps are. You're from the same lot that slaughtered my party, then tortured me for some dark experiments. Commander, just give the order. I'll wipe the floor with them. I have an old score to settle. Specimen 3 what? Yes, yes, a specimen. The sentient weapon that was taken from us. A cheap ploy by the Crusaders. Don't try to deny it. We know you have it. What a sight. A cultist complained about Crusaders using cheap tricks. Next you'll be complaining about it be us being rude and violent. A sentient weapon? This is huge. If you really have one, Commander, keep it for yourself. Those low lowlifes don't deserve it. Again, the weapon doesn't know he's a weapon, which is funny. Who is this black bladesmith? A great artisan and a teacher who renounced his name and past to serve the weaponsmith's craft. His demonic blades never break. His magic arrows never miss their mark. His creations um, are incredible. Although the piece you have in your possession is still far from perfect, it was not supposed to fall into the hands of outsiders, so we want it back. Maybe we can make a deal. How much do you think this specimen of yours is worth? I'm not giving Finian to you. Fine. No, I don't know what that's going to actually do. I'm not giving Finian to you. Then we will take the specimen ourselves. Let's show these scumbags what's what, Commander, to battle. Dragon dead yet? Oh god, no. These guys uh, got in our way, can't you? They're slowing us down. So, cleric, cultist, conjurer, evoker, cultist. Um, can you sleep? Hello, Soon. everyone. Nope. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Look, surprise, surprise divas. And thank you for watching. Happy Monday. Business. Get that gray boy. A little move a little slow there. Land. I'm only gonna get one shot, so might as well shoot that guy. Wow, I was not expecting that. Take it. What if all these events is just Nethus's dream and the end is just him waking up? Well that wouldn't be very exciting. Ember, Ember, Ember. Nope. Nope. Sila. 
Charge, charge, charge. Mm, let's go charge this one. Wow, let's kill that one. Nethus is the crazy god? Nethus is the god of magic, I think. I don't know if she's technically crazy, but I think Nethus is the god of magic. Oh, look, you fell asleep before you got a fireball off. Gimpy. I guess I technically should be using Finian for this, but this should do it. Why? Bless. Bless isn't gonna save you. It's your time to cease to exist. Told you. So these guys are more like it. <laughs> these are the fights I want. I don't want the hard fights. I want these little easy fights. Make every strike count. Closer land. So that one's still sleeping. And go coup de grom. Nope. Ember. Can you see this one and can you put him to sleep? Apparently she should be able to. Damn it, maybe save. Sila. Coup de grom this one. Or not. Yeah, those aren't going to help you. They'll be gone by the time they come to get into action. Damn it. What's a saving throw like? 11, so only needs to roll an 8 or above. Okay, so the divas are a little overkill. But that's okay. Because we get all this stuff. Anything good? Looks like a magic... Minimal magic stuff. Scroll, scroll, scrolls. Yeah, nothing special. So I guess we should talk to Finian now. You got ambushed by Cultus, who spoke of some bladesmith. I suspect you might know him. His tone is grim, all too well. He was the one who tortured me. I don't know what specimens they wanted from you. Maybe they thought I had stolen something from them? Wait, I just remember something. His voice turns hopeful. That bladesmith's workshop was just outside is right by the walls. If Gorm willing, we are ever close, ever in those parts, I'll beat the hell out of that scumbag for all he did to me. Ha, finding these, those cultists was a stroke of, stroke of luck. I'm ready to leap into battle right now. Just say the word. It's like I can feel this newfound strength. When you go to is, make sure to bring me along. Why wouldn't be? <laughs> so I got experience for that. So did he actually level up? I think he just leveled up. He's plus three now. So plus three ghost touch heart seeker weapon. This weapon can tear the soul of a living creature. Uh, whatever, whenever it lands a hit, it deals an additional 1d6 force damage. So it's also plus three. Brilliant energy. Brilliant energy weapon ignores non-living matter. Armor and shield bonuses to AC, including any enhancement bonuses to that armor, do not count against it. Because the weapon passes through armor, dexterity, deflection, dodge, and all other such bonuses still apply. 
A brilliant energy weapon cannot harm undead, construct, or objects. Heartseeker. The Heartseeker weapon ignores the mischance for concealment against those most living targets, though the attack must still target the, the proper square. This special ability does not apply against aberrations, uses, plants, outsiders with the elemental subtype, or any creature specifically noted to lack a heart. Yeah. So if we're not fighting undead, we should be using uh, Finian. Still has the dark glowing side, but Finian. Finian looks uh, bluer than normal. Hey, Gray, welcome back. Gas station simulator when? When I'm really, really desperate? <laughs> so it's definitely more blue now. Oh, this thing we picked up too. Inquired this iron one. I don't know what this the purpose of this altar of dark retrievers is for. I no idea what we're gonna do with that. Anyway, let's take a lap around this area real quick and see if we can find anything interesting. I doubt it. Because Finian I think was the the reward for doing this. His upgrade at least. So he's at, so Finian or Finian finally gets a decent upgrade. After all this time, <laughs> nearly a hundred hours after we acquired him, he's finally getting an upgrade. I'll go ahead. And it's a good it's a good upgrade though. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, exactly. Hundred 100 hours for plus 3, but it's also a brilliant weapon, too. It's got that other stuff on it, the Heart Seeker. So, it's not like it's a crappy upgrade. It's it's actually seems it seems like it's a good it's a good weapon. So, anyway, we're headed where are we headed? Oh, we're trying to get over to uh, that area, Green Gates. We have to go all, all the way back. Are we on wait? Currently still light. So stuff. You just buy plus three weapons of Dresden. I'm just saying. I know you can, but they're expensive. See how much money I don't have? I only have twenty two thousand. I'm pretty sure those plus three weapons are a little bit more than twenty two thousand. Does our army have points again? We do. Okay, so we're trying to get them on this path down here. Oh. This is where we are. That's the wrong way. Oh, that's right. We we're all the way up there. Oof. Let's get all the way down there to get that one. Take that path. Why do you have such less money? You got a hundred thousand. All the master crafted weapons you find during Cannabis and Dresden uh mean a decent chunk of money. Because I spent it. I had to spend it on scrolls. <laughs> to get people back to life and stuff. It wasn't my fault. Ah, uh, normal win points. How's this guy get? But you do the necromancy. Can't you just snip fingers and bring people? You would think so. Snap finger? No. Sadly, you can't. Wish you could. Wish you just bring back the skeletons, but you can't. It's talking about selling junk. Local resistance is one. I'll hold on to those for now. Mm -hmm. 
Composite longbows will plus one. Nah. They were cold iron is a different story. Inspired wisdom. Let's check that one. Hide armor. Stuff. Night mace one. Night shield one. What's this? Magician's ring. Plus five competence bonus. And use all to use magic devices. Check skills. Increase the save DC against spells of the illusion school. How often do we see illusion spells? Remains of the Hidebone Journal. The cover is tattered in half pages, blank pages, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of reading. There's protection. We'll hold on to those for now. Got all the scrolls. I need to go through the scrolls still. Sequence, sequence of murder and orc double axe. Um, no one's going to use an orc double axe. I guess we'll just sell that for seventeen grand. Sickle the falter. No. Done. Studded Armor of Trinity. Maybe. Studded Leather Armor, no. Stealth Armor on. <laughs> Stealth Armor off. Stealth Armor off. <laughs> Tinter Touch, I would hold on to that. The Illustrious Sweep. So this is a plus three sickle. And I'll hold on to that for a little while. Okay, so now we're up to what, 50 grand, roughly? 48. See, now we got a little bit more money. See what's up, Murder? We just sold that one. Sigil of Destruction. Kinetic Blast. I don't have that one. So. <coughs> Spell not deals two more damage for dying. Scrolls of Resurrection, see, 12,000 for that. We didn't use those. Raised dead, though, were still six grand. Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. 10 grand. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay. Out we go. I know the way. Okay, save. We're supposed to be going down here to Green Gates. Got a little distracted. Nope. Stupid armies in the way. Tab can't sneak past the armies. Our victory is certain. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> so, voracious Nalfashini. Nalfashini? Whatever. Level 14 demon. Immune to dominate person, dominate, dominate, dominate. No problem. The bugs. Durac uh, Duracnia devastators. Level 14. It's okay, Tarkus. It was appropriate. He does look fluffy, doesn't he? Those little wings make him look all kind of cute. Why is he wearing... Not demon wings. So, for some reason, my skeleton only has one hit point. Why does my skeleton only have one hit point?
Bolt on second to you? They might be. Uh, let's see. Ember. You can put one of these asleep. Not that one. Modifier is six, so he only needs to roll three or better. Can we summon some new friends? Oh, we will definitely be summoning friends. If we get the chance. Gimpy's immune to energy drains. Good job, Bugs. Uh, where's Lan? Gotta bless Lan's weapon. So he can start shooting stuff. <laughs> Gimpy. Shadow Demon's Votary. Whatever. Um, oh, we can't do the sh can't do the um, angels because we already used those. But we got a Zada. The Zada deal with them. Gimpy needs more hit points. 13. Shouldn't be 15. Uh, let's see. Camellia. This little battle spirit. This will do what? Plus one morale bonus on attack rolls and weapon damage. 8th level and 16th level. Bonus increased by 1. Shaman can use this ability. Number of rounds equal to this. So, now let's activate that. She's got a crossbow ready to go. Bane. King. Bane. That should be a thing on our crossbow, right? Yep. Okay. Lan. Act like a machine gun. Kill these things. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Gotta hit him though. Ouch. Dinosaur. Don't go in front of the Zada. They will zap you with electricity. Why can't Bismuth move? Because Bithmus down to one hit point too. Why are summons why are pets down to one hit point? And why can't he move? Oh the uh, there's a web. We're in a phantasmal web that we can't see. That's why we can't move. Shoot. Does he have any he does not have any ranged weapons. And we just sold all our stuff. But I don't think we had anything anyway. That's horrible. So we're trapped in a web that we can't see. Skeleton doesn't want. Oh, Skeleton can move, but he doesn't have any hit points. So he doesn't really. Uh, Gimpy needs to heal him. Amber's out of the fight for some reason. And there goes our wisdom. See, this is why we don't have a lot of money. It's all this draining stuff. Look at this craziness. Gimpy. That. Oh, look, a fallen. Let's go take care of him. See how he likes it. Seriously, welcome back. You probably have a hundred thousand worth of weapons in your stash. Maybe. In fair, you don't walk past by armies. I try not to either, but I wasn't paying attention. You know, that's what I do. Yeah. 
Your magic. She can't cast. Oh, because she's lost so much wisdom. We... Do we need to worry about poison? Probably not a bad idea to do this. Just in case. Land. Wish I could see how hard it is to hit these guys. So he's AC 33. He's got mirror image all... Oh, there's two of them up there. That's part of the problem. They're easier to hit, except for that mirror image stuff. He's a 30. So, mirror image. You won't survive me. Dinosaur is still not in the fight. Hey, you can do that all day. <laughs> Gimpy is not a affected by their little beams. That's a different story. Wow. Fireballs are real. Um... Skeletons up there, and <laughs> okay. Get them, skeletons. Show those low armor class people what it's like to get hit by swords. So, our healers are not very functional. Uh-oh. <sighs> She's supposed to be resistant to fire, I thought. Okay, that's just stupid. That's just stupid. Okay, Gimpy. Um... Skeletons are still alive up there. No more big summons for Gimpy. We can summon more skeletons, though. I'm not going to do much against these guys because of the high armor class. That goes for Gimpy, too. <laughs> Get him? Let's try this way. He is a 20. This is going well. So it seems like the, all the Azadas aren't in action either. Oh, their boss is already down. That's why. I survived worse. Oh, and all the drains. Okay, we're done. We're done. <laughs> this is just dumb. We're done. Tarkish, your polling place was only a five minute walk from your apartment this year, and there was no one there when I showed up. There was quite a long line when I was leaving, though. Oh, was voting day today for Canada? Yes, we're fatigued. I do like how spick and span you keep all your things. Your armor is so 
polished. I could powder my nose without needing a mirror. <laughs> well, I live in hope of the day when you can see me as a person and not just a convenient reflective surface. <laughs> Silly people. Okay, let's see if it's time to move the army. They've got 40 points to spend. I was headed that away. <laughs> yep. Definitely Catechid. I don't think she is. I think she's got a little bit of evil in her. Hey, what are these guys? You don't see these before us. Rift Drakes. Yeah, we definitely haven't seen these before. Ace for us, slow for them. Archers. I uh, can shoot that one. Let me change their battle order here. Why are you moving so slow? You just hasted. Now, but you don't like fire. Told you. <laughs> Take a compliment. <laughs> yeah, why are we moving so slow? It's clean corrosion. That would be it. Wow, these guys aren't even moving. Mm, just attack him. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Wow, we lost that many that quickly? It didn't feel like we lost that many that fast, but okay. Just got everybody back. Poison spit slows your unit. Yeah, I know that now. I haven't run into that before. Warriors have discovered what attracted such a horde of monsters. An impressive ambulant laboratory belonging to some insane alchemist. Laboratory had been mercifully plundered, mercilessly pl plundered, and the jars of, of elixirs and ingredients bore sinister holes through which the hideous creatures had consumed their contents, like some exquisite nectar. Luckily, some of the alchemist inventory survived and now belongs to the Crusaders. Energy points times 60. All units in the target enemy, blah, blah, blah. With grind plus bonus on all saving throws last for one day. Next. Ah, so we have another way to get back here. Sort of. Dun, dun, dun. Is your wizard a giant or our leader's just shown like they're just shown as being larger? He's not a giant. He's just a regular person. Oh look, whatever that is. Okay, so we've got some cultist fighters, some more dredge. Hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? Bermarax. If not, Brock. you really should. Save in time, speeds us up, slows them down. We're supposed to. Mm, that slow thing doesn't seem to work. <laughs> anyway, kill the rock. Is that a miss? Zero damage? How would they do zero damage? Ow. Yeah, do some smiting of evil. Ow. Stop it. Look, more fire. Okay. 
Get out of the stinky cloud. Skeletons. Go zombies. More stinky clouds. Fire. Clerics alone. Oh, we can't attack while we're in the cloud. Didn't need those anyway. Dretch. Dretch seem to have a lot of hit points for what they are. <laughs> Claire can't heal himself for whatever reason. Those stop. Move us along. Again, Dretch have a lot of hit points. And little rents, and they seem to pretty durable. There we go. Skeletons are our heroes. So we got all all back. And picked up some extras too, because of all the dead demons. And we got Wooljif back finally. Although he's back in Dresden at the moment. It would first to be a stone enclosure used for demonic sacrifices. Actually, turned out to be a desecrated and ancient shrine where Sarkarian uh, druids once offered their prayers. Many ages past, soon it was, it will once again become a bastion of peace and spiritual fortitude. Energy points increased by one daily. <laughs> Six four seven five eighty seven. This is the incoming demon army. Dun, dun, dun. So who's their glorious leader up here? Okay, so that's Minotaurs. So Minotaur. Minotaur Axe Throwers. They've got a lot of hit points. More Dretch. Cultists. Uh, Vescover Swarms down here. Who do we want to kill first? Uh, probably the big bug. Oh, we're getting more spell points already? That went fast. That's not good. Wait for them to come to us, maybe? Ouch. 67 in one hit. That's not nice. Wow, all our archers just got annihilated. That's not good. That's very, very bad. No damage. That's not good either. Hey, those axe throwers are crazy. Clerics, um, hit it yourself. Doesn't go well. Okay, maybe it's doing a little bit better. It's not going well. <laughs> I should probably heal my clerics, huh? Yeah, they're down to 39. It's supposed to be at 60, right? Yeah, there we go.
away from the bugs. I don't think the zombies and skeletons care too much about the bugs. Wow, look at all the dredges. Look, more fire. No more bugs. We're gonna lose our clerics at this round. Great. Zombies. Ow. Oh, that's so not good. You know. There, give these guys room to get there. Oh, okay. So we lost a lot. So we get six archers back. We lost 124. So over 120, uh, 118 archers we lost. That's bad, bad, bad. <laughs> and we didn't get back any of those, those guys either. It didn't go well. Hot tub. Gimpy. Are you getting in the hot tub? It is going to make you sweat. That is fun. Okay, the forces of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth have been destroyed, and now there is no obstacles to sending scouts within the enemy territory. The reports will make the supply line safe from the sudden attacks. Daily income increased by 100 finance points. Resources found at 3,000 finance points. We're going to need that just to replace our archers. Because that was crazy. And our undead are getting more, but archers not so much. Zero morale. How come we can't recruit these guys? Why is it always at zero? Or is it because this army is full? Yeah. So we have no archers to recruit for some reason. You know, I'll recruit once a week, like the hero. Oh. Oh, that's right. I, recruit I picked up. Uh Hell Knights, didn't I? But damn. No, well, this has got money. A demon army there. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Happy Monday. Okay, guess so our army's done for the day. That's a giant. What funny little faces you have when you're afraid. How deliciously pathetic you all are. <laughs> so, I'm guessing... I'm guessing this is the dragon we're looking for. The 
Level 25 Chaotic Evil Dragon, Devara. So damage reduction 15, except for magic. Immunity to fire. Sleep paralyzed and prone. So we can't sleep it, but we can put other hexes onto it. Appears to be a red. Looks more like a pink. <laughs> Tiger, they're not helping the situation. Looks like a pink dragon to me. Oh, maybe you didn't appreciate that. Anyway, Lan, I don't think we want to stand too close together. Has no eyes. Does it? It's hard to tell. Maybe the eyes are underneath that little ridge there. Is this 30 spell resistance too? I didn't even see that part. 40 AC. Uh, effects and conditions. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Perception stuff. Defenses. 30 spell resistance. Fun. 15 damage. How are we going to... I don't think we're going to kill this thing. Yeah, just 40 AC. That means no hits unless it's a 20 or above. So cleave, vital strike. Greater vital strike. He's hasted, of course. Why not? Breath weapons, of course. Dun, dun, dun. Immunity to paralysis and sleep. He's airborne, immune to trip. Power attack, toughness for the extra hit points. He cleaves, we know that. Improved critical, of course. Staggering critical, oh god. Um, immune to fire. Vulnerability to cold. I don't think we have any cold spells. Fire aura. And multi attack. I don't think we're going to win this fight. I don't think we're going to win this fight. Okay, Lan, start going that way. You won't survive me. Yeah, we know he needs 20, so I don't even know why I'm looking. Yeah. He needs a 36 in order to hit him. <laughs> okay, Ember. Step off to the side, too. Oh, that was too far. Oh, he failed the saving throw on the AC at least, so now he's only got a 38 AC. Okay, Greybore, mark him. Get off to the sides. Dinosaur. Oh, you know what? Shit. Okay, so she needs to go a little to her left before she does this. It's not going to hit the Mr. Uh, dwarf. Hope so. Yep, okay. So everybody's at least got resist fire, so we won't get totally barbecued. Gimpy. Gimpy can summon all the stuff, though. It's a plus. The Azada out first, because they got lightning and whatever. Let them get baked. Uh, Gimpy will have you keep going this way, I guess. Gimpy needs extra hit points, so he'll use his false life. A bit extra. Oh, uh, the spell resistance, so good luck. Ow! Ow! 99 damage! That was after the reduction. 99 damage. Amber didn't make it. Neither did the uh, Camellia. Camellia. So our healers are down. <laughs> I 
I don't think we're ready for this fight either. Oh, our skeleton is down too. Wow. Um, lucky dice. Plus one luck bonus on attack rolls and average AC during the enemy's attack once per day. Thanks for a whole day. Um, smite. Roll that dice. Man. Again. Come that way. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this. We have a companion with the energy resist group. No. Well, uh, Camellia cast the fire one. And it's only. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the, the upgraded one? I think she has it. But I wasn't expecting uh, 100 point damage, in all honesty. Brave dwarf? Brave dwarf. Stupid dwarf. Oh, we hit it. 27 points. Barely injured. Oh, yeah, these guys got baked. Gimpy. Um, angels? The angels. So Gippy didn't get hit by the fire, which is good, right? Stay back. The fire doesn't have that big a range. His breath, right? Why don't you come to accept your fate and become my dinner? I'll eat you. What? That was it? Come to dinner. I'll eat you soon enough. So we did enough damage to make him run. So that's wonderful. So we didn't lose lose the fight. Keep in mind, I was not expecting this. That was a. Now we have to find her again. Wonderful. So, so that means we need to uh, get our spells a little bit more prepared I'll go ahead. for fighting. Now that we have, know what we're going against, so so we have we have delay poison. We have resist energy. The level four version is protection from energy. Temporary immunity. 12 points per caster level, so that's 120 points once. Restoration. Mm. So definitely going to need that. Oh, that's right, she doesn't get to pick. Doesn't have spells. She has spells. She got the angelic aspect, which will be uh, DR against acid and cold. Not real helpful there. Resist energy. We already have that. Hmm. Well, twos. That's the courage aura, which we need for fighting dragons. Effortless armor. Those. Okay. So that's it for our memorized spells. Now, if Gimpy can land a Slay Living on that thing, that would be nice, but that spell re uh, resistance is crazy. Oh. Six lit. What? I didn't know I had these. 
I didn't know I had these spells. Shit. <laughs> I didn't know he had this stuff. So shield. I don't think mage armor is really going to matter for him, is it? We'll find out. Um, Grease. Wow, I didn't know Gimpy had the axe. I didn't know about the spell book. How could nobody told me about this? Mirror image. Command undead. You can make an undead creature fight on your side as if it were your ally. It will attack your opponents to the best of its ability. However, intelligent creatures will try to throw off the domination, domination making a will save each round. Take that. You definitely want mirror image. Scare. All enemies within a 30 foot burst center on a target creature. Level three. Mm -hmm. Power from death. You know how to gain strength from fallen allies and enemies alike. You gain plus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and damage rolls for every dead creature in 30 foot radius up to a maximum of three plus one per five caster levels. Bonus is a plus three or higher. You additionally gain effects of the haste spell. Wow. That's one round per level. How come nobody told me about this? Stinky cloud, mastery of flesh. To deal with both mortal and immortal flesh. When used against an enemy, the spell deals 48 plus caster level damage to living targets and 28 against to undead. When used on an ally, instead heals them. Won't get haste. Corrupted blood. You corrupt an enemy's blood, making it contagious. The enemy is nauseated for one round per caster level. Every round it can uh, make a new saving throw to remove all nauseation. nauseated condition. If the saving throw is successful, the target instead becomes sickened. So it's either nauseated or sickened. The target dies while nauseated. It deals 66 damage to all creatures in a 15 foot radius and applies corrupted blood to them. Twenty percent spell failure chance because of I'm a lich. Um, probably because this stuff is probably um, arcane. It's not divine. It's arcane stuff. And because Gimpy's wearing armor. Empiric Touch, Open Grief, Displacement. So this will be 3d6. Gain temporary hit points. Damn, the temporary hit points disappear after one hour later. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, again, this is his armor. But as um, a Hell Knight signifier, he actually, that's, it should be worse than that. <laughs> but we can always, you know, take the armor off, too. Haste. So we don't have to use scrolls. Okay, so there's that. So Oracle spells, they don't care, because again, that's divine. And as far as this goes, this is 25 arcane spell failure chance, but it's only 20. Again, that comes back to his, his class, which is dun, 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 Hell Knight Signifier. So his armor ch uh, check penalty is reduced by one. Reduces arcane spell failure by 5%. Because he's a signifier, it reduces it by 5. And if he gets up, when he gets to level 8, it'll be 5% less, too. So, so if he takes off his armor off, it's not a big deal. And the funny thing is, he could take this off. 
Because as the Oracle, he actually has a spell. Or actually, it's not a spell, it's an ability for gimping. No mistakes. His bone armor. Where's his bone armor? It's an ability. So the bone armor here. Armor of bones. So it's plus four at level at beginning, but now it's actually plus six. Because he's seventh level oracle now. So it's actually his arm his armor bonus will be six here, which is not as good. I mean, it'll be a drop in his armor class, but he'll have a mage armor too. I think he can stick on top of that. And he still gets his uh, his dexterity bonuses. Here it's only three, which is fine. Hmm, I might do, do an experiment here. See what it looks like. Again, I didn't know the Lich had a separate spellbook. <laughs> I had no idea that was there. So we're going to camp here. So that Gimpy can get his spells. And actually get everybody their spells. So yeah, I was not I Did you break another one of the straps on your armor? Here, let me show you another knot. It's just as good, but it won't fray so quickly. Whoa, thanks. Show me that again. Spellfire, what did you miss? Ring. You could try and get the arcane armor feet, maybe. That's a way to do it, too. Um, Katger is... Again, I just discovered Gimpy has a second spellbook. I didn't know that Lich had its own spellbook, and all these spells are arcane. So, as you can see... Why is it 35% now? Or is that because of the whole corruption thing going on? I think that, oh yeah, we're the whole corruption thing. So we have to go back and get rid of that. So the main test now is, so Gimpy has mage armor he can use. Yeah, we'll come back right. So, so Gimpy. And this is uh, experimenting with Gimpy 101 and his new spell book. Let's put that on Gimpy. So the carapace has given us 11. The mage armor doesn't do anything because of the armor. So we take the armor off. And see how high we... Because our current armor class is 29. No other buffs. So now it's 22 with the mage armor. Now we go to bone armor. See if that stacks. I don't think it will, but it might. So that's uh, that. Doesn't look like it stacks. Armor bones is six. So it doesn't stack with the mage armor. But it's better than the mage armor. Armor class is at 24. Other spells. So shield of faith. Will that work? It might. Nope, that doesn't work. So Shield of Faith doesn't work with armor armor? Or is something else on top of it? Shield of Faith doesn't go with the Ring of Protection. It works with armor, but he's got the Ring of Protection 4, which is better than the Shield of Faith. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. He does have this, though. Magical vestment should work. That worked. So his armor class is still 26. So the bracers work, because he's not wearing armor, technically, right? Or is that something else? I think that might be something else. Dexterity bonus, 3. Deflection from the ring of that armor bonus and then magical vestment. So 26 armor isn't horrible.
but if he throws the armor back on now, with all those same buffs, see what what stacks with what thirty one. So the bracers, dexterity, ring, the armor itself, and magical vestment. But he can't really cast spells when he's wearing this armor. His lich arm, his lich spells won't work. Basically, because he's only got like a third of a chance. Well, 20% 20, 20 chance to get the spells off. But you take this off. And oh look, you can cast them all. So there's a trade-off. No armor. You have basically two spell books to play around with. Right, the braces of armor won't stop. So this, this particular bracer he's wearing is something else. Plus one luck bonus to AC. What? Luck bonus to reflex save. So it's the luck bonus. So it's different than braces of armor. That's an armor bonus. Yeah, they do ring, but it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. We'll have to look at the class again. Because I know he gets... Because um, right now he's got uh, reduces by 5%. The arcane spell failure at 5% at level 3. And then at level eight, it goes down another five. So 10 total, not huge. Sidious Gaze, Infernal Resilience, Tabot Arbiter. Yeah, so it's only 10% reduction. I thought they were better than this. Yeah, it's only 10%. Arcane is 15%? No, well, that would do it. <laughs> that would pretty much do it, wouldn't it? Because unfortunately, this is a little messed up because of the thing. Oh, he's not wearing armor at all. I can leave it off for now, I guess. Just got to remember to buff him up to get him to the 26 range. Because 26 isn't bad. It's just Shield of Faith and Major Armor. Major Armor don't work there. With the Bone Armor. So, take that out of there. I got Grease now. Multiple shields is one minute per level. Doom. Ah, multiple greases. That, that. Chain is 10%, mastery is 20. So uh, at level 8, it'll be 30%, which is more than enough, I think. So that could work. That could work. What was the other spell this have on? Ah, oh, the Shield of Faith. Oh, that's a divine? What? Damn. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Anyway, that's okay. So, Lich is a signifier subclass? No, it is not. Lich is a mythic class. They're totally separate. Totally separate. Just found out that this... I just realized, noticed, that the Lich has its own spellbook. And it's arcane based, which makes wearing armor a little bit more difficult. So if we want to use all these spells, we have to ditch his, uh, his heavy armor. Could get away with wearing what? Medium or light? Okay, uh, we have to go back to town. 
so we can get rid of the stupid corruption stuff. Are those spells really that important? Well, one of them's haste. And the only way I have haste right now is through scrolls. And they only last five turns or rounds. We've got haste. We've got command undead, which I haven't tried yet, of course. Mirror image, that makes them a little bit harder to hit. Grease would be nice to have. Every mythic path has spells? I would think so. Eat the large water elemental. I'm not sure if that's worth it. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth the effort to beat that thing. One removes exhaustion and fatigue off your whole party. You know, that would be nice. Okay, in the streets, we still have night gamblers. For some reason, uh, we caught... This is for Sosial. Sosial apparently has a gambling problem. We caught him doing it once, and he just said he didn't... He, didn't say, he said he didn't have a problem. So I'm guessing we have to catch him multiple times. Yeah, I think that water elemental battle in the beginning is more of a look what I did type deal. It's not so much a uh, really get anything decent out of it. I caught him. I already caught him once at night. I caught him playing cards over in the in the graveyard. And I when I said, "Hey, do you, what are you doing here?" and he goes, "I don't have a problem," or something like that. Did it switch the daytime while we were talking? Did it? I don't remember. I'm not even sure what time it is now. It's like night time. He's not in the graveyard. He's up here. So it must not be night. Updating equipment. The item you have the illustrious sweep in your inventory, which is significantly better than the dark glowing side. Item of your character has equipped. Don't forget to equip new. What? The illustrious sweep. In my inventory. When did I get the illustrious sweep? He wants me to use a sickle over uh, my over my glow my dark glowing scythe. I'm not proficient. I'm not good with sickles. I'm better with the scythe, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Why would I switch out the scythe for a sickle? That makes no sense. Yes, the game is dumb. Like the, the stupid Azada throwing lightning bolts at stuff that are immune to magic or resistant to lightning. Ah, so nothing there. But he's not playing cards. So this this is the issue here. He's not actually playing cards right now. The Citadel. Run all the way up here. Quest, what, for this one? The Companions, Night Gamblers. So says reason to take up playing cards with soldiers at night. Could there be a dark reason behind the young cleric's choice of pastime? Again, I thought I caught him playing cards at night. And it looks like nighttime, doesn't it? There's 
Captain what's his self? Captain Odad. We haven't actually talked to him before. Time's not waiting. Captain Odin gives you a polite nod. What can I do for you, Commander? What's your role in my army? I'm responsible for drills, organizing exercises, and briefing the officers on the strategy you approve. Furthermore, I have the honor of serving as a chair on as the chair of your military council. Blah. You've had encounters with the uh, Mora before, haven't you? Only in the halls of my mind. But uh, back then, when I was a young lieutenant, dreaming of the title, blah, blah, stuff, stuff. He is Mendev's greatest enemy. I've studied countless reports and battles, played out come, blah, blah, blah. The most important day of my life, I could feel that was very close. How about your military career? Families lived in Mendev for generations. Crusader War College with honors, then I returned to Mendev. So 25 years. 25 years, huh? As a result of my service, I was distinguished by command with promotions to the rank of captain. Now that I don't have to do drills, I had some time for this stuff and tactics, blah blah stuff stuff. I get the feeling you've had your share of pain on the front lines. No more than the soldiers from my squad, my last blah blah stuff, 300 soldiers turned into screaming, burning meat because of fireballs. And believe it or not, in the light of the cursed flame, the battlefield was dark as a cave. I paid mine as well. It took a miracle for the clerks to put me out of my melted armor. <laughs> it took me four years before I could remain calm near fire. Any fire, even candlelight. Blah, blah, stuff, stuff. He doesn't like fire. Just fighting, burning, and fighting. I have to go. i got business to do. He's not playing every night, but just certain nights. I don't know what it is. When you beat Cormans and then army with family or army without realizing it, but yeah. Who are you, Captain Hartmatan? Hail, Commander! Before you, an aged uh, yet fit and sturdy Garundi stands. Garundi, what the hell is a Garundi? Uh, stands at attention. His dark skin has an earthly tone to it, and crystals sparkle forth where, from where his hair and eyebrows should be, clearly identifying him as an Oriat. Oh, the new race. Captain Harmaton, chair of your staff council by order of Her Majesty Queen Galford, here to deliver a report. I'm on this council too, she uh, sal uh, salutes briskly. We'll be racking our brains on how to improve troop morale. I reckon the key is to back up our words with actions. Lead your troops, uh, or lead your soldiers by example, and they'll be eager to follow. Regal. Drawing on my experience as a paralictor, my advice is to maintain calculated moderation in every regard, be it an incentive or penalty, and to be decisive. We have no need for doubts or turmoil. Darren. I'm doomed to be your advisor, but do you know what that means? That you are doomed to listen to my advice. To start things off, here's an incredibly novel and deep thought for you. Loyalty, passion, and morale, all of these can easily be bought with money. Captain Harmaton. Commander, permission to report. We've encountered a problem. Although we're still getting volunteers, we're now seeing cases of desertion. Many who joined the Dresden campaign believe that their duty has been fulfilled with the victory, and they are not keen on staying in the garrison. Those from Canabras. I wish to return home and rebuild their ruined city. Lastly, there are those who are afraid of lingering in a place where demons might show up with a retaliatory expedition at any moment. My suggestion is to improve living conditions for the privates. Raise their pay, give them extra rations, and reward those who have distinguished themselves on the battlefield with commendations and gifts. Soldiers don't want to leave armies at soldiers don't want to leave armies that appreciate them. I feel for those folks, but we have to convince them to stay. I think we might get some uh, help from the servants of the gods. They tell the soldiers that the danger has not yet passed and inspire them to keep up the fight against evil. As long as the wound is open, the whole world is in danger. We can't just go home and live like we used to, no matter how badly we want that to happen. Most of the Crusaders are volunteers, but they have no right to subvert military discipline. That kind of attitude is tantamount to treason, regardless of who expresses it. We have to identify the instigators, arrest them, and administer harsh punishment uh, to make an example of them. 
skeletons that forget they want to join the army need reminders. Mm -hmm. This problem is quite simply solved with coin, but handing money out to privates is practically throwing it away. We need to pay officers. We may need to pay the officers handsomely. Then they will figure out how to raise their subordinates' morale. Uh, da, da, da. Questions from the council. Let's discuss our options in further detail. What's your plan? Situation is not that dire. Morale is high, and we just want a major victory. So some have let down the guards. We have to call for priests and paladins to get it through to the volunteers that it's still early for celebration. If they leave their home, if they leave for their homes today, Dresden will fall again tomorrow and the day after. The de and the demons will show up um, on their doorstep. Servants of the gods are indeed the masters of sweet talking others into dying free of charge. All through pretty words. But when the choice comes down to inspired preaching or homemade pies, uh, nine of every ten will look for comfort in their homes and at their table. Their incentive needs to be more substantial than wasted breath. Regal. There is no place in the army for the mindset of playing soldier today, then going home tomorrow. These dangerous ideas must be suppressed with the utmost harshness. We'll identify the most vocal rabble-rousers and exact punishment on them as an example to others. They may be volunteers, but they join the uh, ranks of the Crusaders. We can't abet in their rejection of their responsibilities, or we'll be heading toward complete chaos and therefore defeat. That's a great plan. If you want soldiers to run, <laughs> run back home twice as fast, they came here for their of their own volition, and we must convince them to stay, not terrorize them into fighting. Darren. Our forces are in good spirits. It's just that the euphoria of victory has gone to a few heads. No one can sober them up quicker uh, than the officers, especially those of lower rank. We'll give our, our dear oafs, all those sergeants and corporals, a bonus on the sly, then promise to sweeten the deal once they've convinced the volunteers to stay. Perhaps they will do so over a beer mug or maybe with a broken nose. Uh, why bother solving problems yourself when you can uh, push them off on someone you pay? Your bot loyalty will run out even sooner than your goal. Ours, once soldiers turn into profiteers instead of following orders, they start appraising them. They'll wonder whether or not it's worth their while to obey their general. Uh, hardly need to explain the effects this will have on discipline. Captain, what do you advise? The volunteers believe that uh, we've almost won. Great. Let's not ruin this uh, pretty illusion. Instead, we'll turn it to our advantage. We'll increase rations and pay for the privates, uh, rewarding the most distinguished with commendations and gifts. Who would abandon the, victor the victors when they provide you with good food and better coin? It's naive, naive to expect the troops won't understand uh, that we won't that we would be just trying to appease them. An army cannot stand if it's held together by handouts and desperate promises. Uh, everything is not clear. So this. Glory to the heroes. So this does... Repeatable, repeatable decree for 30 days. You say the morale increased by 5 to 10. Fragile. Hunting down mute. So, 14 day repeatable. Crusader morale increases 16 to 25. Recruitment growth for trainable units reduced by 10%. The cost of recruiting mercenary units increases by 10%. That doesn't sound that great. Darren. Bribes for the officers. Crusader morale increased by 15 to 20. Leadership 4,000. Ouch. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Okay, so Crusader morale increased by 10 to 15. Leadership is on... Oh, Aren't 300 materials, stiff? though. You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it. You ignorant meatbag. It's kind of expensive. This one might be our best bet. 4,000 coin or money, right? That one's the easiest of the group. Or at least the most best, yes. This has no cost. Shader morale increased by five to ten. Just leadership. That's it. No cost. There's no cost here. <sighs> I don't see why we wouldn't do this. 
It's your thing. Faith has always been, uh, helped me in my darkest hours, and it will help our soldiers too. We just need to talk to them from from the heart. No cost and a decent bonus. So, thank you, Commander. Should any other difficulties arise that require your attention, I will deliver a new report promptly. Uh oh. Fabricking. You see a Kellid, around 50 years old, dressed in a doublet uh, that looks older than its owner. Once it may have been expensive, but now it's worn and patched. A scabbardless sword hangs in his, on his belt, covered in such a thick layer of rust that it looks more like a club. His flushed, swollen face, spongy nose, and the dark circles beneath his eyes suggest he's is a heavy drinker. When he opens his mouth to speak, your suspicions is confirmed by the stench of stale alcohol on his breath. So you're the commander, huh? It's a cozy little place you've got yourself here. All these walls, polished furniture, solid, commendable. Why, I think I'll give you a medal for this. A medal? You're so kind. Don't mention it. I'm a generous soul. But I'm also fair. I dish out medals and I punish as I punish as I please. Who am I? Not just your average citizen. The man groans as he straightens up, <coughs> affecting a proud, noble bearing insofar as his decrepitudes of allows. You'll be pleased to know that I am Thaberdine Quintessimus Herophantal, rightful heir to the throne of Is and all Sarkoris. In the past, everyone knows that no king has ever ruled over Sarkoris and there is no throne in Is. How would you know? Have you been to Is? Have you seen it with your own eyes? You haven't. And if you haven't, maybe there was one. My pops used to tell me about the throne in the palace. It was gold it was gold all over, and it was encrusted with an all manner of crusty things, like diamond, diamonds, and fire ants, and rubies, and buboes, whatever that was, a bubo. You couldn't take your eyes off of it. That's the kind of a throne it was. And it's all mine, mine by right. Can you prove your claim to the throne? Of course. We aren't some, uh, some swindlers. We have all the evidence. Here, look. Takes the rusty sword from his belt and shows you the hilt, which features a nearly worn off golden crest. The grinning animal it depicts most closely resembles shabby, a shabby possum. Here, the royal smilodon <laughs> is the ancient symbol of the rulers of Sarkoris. Uh, I've also got a ward on my chest. It's in the shape of a crown. Of course, I'm the heir to the throne. Look, this guy's a coot. And for those who don't believe me, well, they can get lost, that's what I say. Let them go to uh, Polyterus Fall, where all the kings of Socorus are bur buried. There, my entire family tree has been written in stone. Go and read for yourselves. Polyterus Polyterus Fall, where is that? Are you deaf or what? You should drink a, a pine needle infusion. It'll do wonders for your ears and your eyes, too. I'm telling you, all the dead Socoran kings are in the ground there. And mausoleums... To burials and those whatchamacallits obelisk that's right and it's all written there about my ancestors and about me too just go look and everything will be make sense by every law of the land i'm king what think do you think you're entitled to we are simple people we don't need much i mean no that's not what i meant we aren't simple people not simple at all <laughs> And we need a great deal. A king's palace, a throne, lands. But all that can wait until you take it, take back is and make all the demons leave. As for now, I wouldn't mind having a king's residence here in Dresden. A place to sleep and some hot food. That'd be a start. Oh, too bad. I see. Soldiers. Throw the prison out. <laughs> the imposter out of here. Hey, hey, why? How could you? Uh, some commander you are. That was their only choice. I'm okay with that, though. Okay, let's see what we can manage. Anyway, happy Monday. Okay, Royal Parade. A parade in honor of the Majesty, blah, blah, blah. Finance points income increased by 10% for 30 days. 
forming a staff council. Once one can command a small unit, blah, blah, blah. Military tribunal. Units all gain military tribunal feat, so chance of skipping action due to negative morale reduces uh, by 5%. The touched one. Oh, so this is an actual event. Okay. So an odd and somewhat touched priest has sought an audience. In a dream, he saw himself eradicate the world wound, and he's convinced that it was an omen. With the help of the relics he borrowed from his temple, he was able to make the arduous junior to Dresden. And now he's asking the commander to keep him safe while he is away in his quest to fight evil. <laughs> you let the priest go to his death. Alexa the Blessed One. So a heavy mace, plus three. Convince the priest that his endeavor is doomed. Finance points... Points increased by 20. This option is unavailable because you don't have the Flory Chalet among your companions or because she has lost interest in the affairs of the Crusaders. Oh, sorry, we still need to find her. We'll let him go. Oh, that's chaotic. That's good. Eh, whatever. Where's the lawful reason? The bright eyed priest set out on his journey. It is likely that anyone will ever hear from him again. That was easy enough. Decrees. Ziggurat's still 20 days away. The fate of the altar of the first retriever. Oh, this is the thing we found. Skilled craftsmen can do work. Uh, do some work on the relic. What's the relic going to get me? The fate of the altar of the first retriever. This is an altar that was built by the demons. Why would we do this? I'm confused. Crest of the Fallen Knight. Don't know what it's gonna I don't know what that's supposed to be. Studying the Sword of Valor. Fate of the Soul Shear. So this is um Pretty sure our skeleton executioner has the Soul Shear. Finance points, we got planning, material points, enough, energy points. Eh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> I don't see why we wouldn't do that. Jeff. Maybe be used against the, the demons. I don't know. Make them think they're your friends and then you do a double cross on them. Again, I don't know. I don't know. Orders to Erebeth. Erebeth's breakdown, which occurred before the assault in Dresden, still haunts her mind. She should be reminded that she was, is, and will always be a hero in the eyes of the soldiers. Uh, commander of a small squad. Unfortunately, because Erebeth is occupied as a squad leader, leader, her duties in the Crusades command has been transferred to someone else. Get that taken care of, so we can't do anything more right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have an inn here. So we have a supply center in Dresden. I don't know what else we can buy. Work for France when they gave the Statue of Liberty to you guys. That is true. <laughs> Wait a minute. The French didn't double cross us. What are you talking about, Jeff? Uh, that's how we built a uh, supply center in here. Alchemist Laboratory, Apothecary, Arsenal. Citadel. Construction of the building will be finished in five days. When the enemy storms the outer walls of the fort, its defenders retreat to the Citadel, where they can maintain the defense for many days more. Citadel increases the time of the siege of its fort by three days. Only one Citadel can be bought, or built in each fort. It's part of their long game? Oh, those sneaky French. Ten wounded soldiers know that their wounds will be quickly healed and they can return to duty. So what's this do? Provides right, plus 5% bonus to inf 
to infirmary size of no. So bigger stuff for healing people. Protected by spells. This is the only place where weary crusaders can rest without the fear of harmful magic of the abyss. Hmm. Smithy. Remember that will um, blah, blah, blah. Smithy provides plus one bonus to attack for all trainable units in the adjacent buildings. Only one smithy can be built. For all trainable units. Training grounds. We finish in three days. So here fighters hone their combat skills and recruits undergo for vigorous trials uh, set by experienced officers. Training grounds provide plus percent plus 10% bonus to damage of all trainable units in adjacent buildings. Only one train training grounds can be built in each fort. Watch out provides all the units within that fort area to control, plus one bonus to attack, PC, saving throws, and in initiative. So the training grounds. Should we build one of these now, or? I don't know. Plus 10 bonus to damage of all trainable units and adjacent buildings. I don't even know where to start building stuff. I don't know if I, I don't think I need to really, well, Citadel might be nice to get, because it, oh, well, that's it. We finished in five days. I think we're okay for now. The French Revolution, yes. <laughs> Funny how that worked out. Free two countries for the price of one. Although the French monarchy did come back a little bit lighter and got defeated again, but you know, details. Okay, we need to rest. Okay. She's supposed to be making potions for us. Specifically, these are for... Actually, we should probably work on some cure serious ones. We don't have enough of those. That one. Scrolls. Dun, dun, dun. Where's the haste? You can never have enough haste scrolls. Oh, light of the sword, Iomade. Forgive me my sins, and do not leave me in the darkness. I am weak and undeserving of your grace, and still you grant it to me. And that means I still have something to hope for. Potion was made, it looks like. Hmm. 
Okay, what junk are we carrying that we don't need to be carrying? Specifically items. So this altar of dark retrievers, this is the thing they think they want to build. I think. Put those in storage for now. Actually. I forgot to check if Camellia. I forget what Camellia is wearing for her. I think she's wearing something, but I think it's one of these, but I'm not sure. I think she's wisdom based. Thanks for protection. Make sure everybody has some of those. Oh, Light Armor of Trinity. Arcane spell figure chance is 15%, so Gimpy, if he wears it, is down to 10%. Hmm. No. Unavoidable drill. We should probably sell that. That's Gimpy's armor armor. We should probably sell that. Holy Disruption Heavy Mace. This is the thing we just got. So. All the weapons are with holy power. This weapon makes the weapon good aligned and thus bypasses the corresponding damage reduction. It deals an extra 2d6 points of damage against all creatures of evil alignment. Disruption weapon is the bane of all undead. Any undead creature struck in combat must succeed on a DC 14 will save or be destroyed. Disrupting weapon must be a bludgeoning melee weapon. Hmm. I think we should put uh, Solzio back in the group. Give him a shield. <laughs> Let him swing that thing around for a little bit. We have a tower shield. You know, the Vine Protector. I think that's what we're going to do. Just bring Sozio back into the group and um, do that shit. Or we could give it to What's-Her-Face. Hmm. Instead of using Radiance, have, have her use that mace. That might be a better way. Sila. Sila, where are you, Sila? There you are. You can use a heavy mace, right? You're a paladin. Yes, you can. <laughs> Where's that shield? Where's that shield I just picked up? At least I thought I picked it up. There it is. And the Canadians don't out there. Happy, oh yeah, happy. Did you vote, Jeff? Oh, look, it's got all kinds of pretty colors on it. What's your attack? Plus fifteen versus. Plus 15. 15 to 22. 14 to 21. So the mace is actually better. Radiance. Cold iron. Doesn't matter this is gold or this is holy, so it does the same thing. Who wants radiance? Don't need that shield anymore either. So her armor 32, or her AC is 32. And, oh, she does have buffs on. No, she doesn't. That's just all her stuff. So hey, 32. Hey, bag of water. It is time to take a break. Already? Go stretch your legs. That was a really quick two hours. Your next break is in two hours. So this is redundant. Do we have, we don't have a belt that's just strength. Polyon, has he done a playthrough with this Azada? No. How much time do you think I have in my life? <laughs> this is my first run still. This is still my first run. This is my first run. You 
You're stuck on a mission. Eh, you'll figure it out. Just got protection one. Oh, we actually should go through and see. I'll uh, do this off stream to figure out. Because it's going to take a while for me to get through all those scrolls. <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. Oh, he's missing a ring. I don't think it's going to. Does it matter? With... It does help him. Okay. He's good. She's got one. She's got one. He's got one. He's got one. She's got him too. Get your companion back from the abyss. From the abyss. We're, I'm only on act beginning of Act Three, I believe. Oh, Jeff, that's that's horrible. Oh, four thousand. Yeah, and that's okay. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Where's my skeleton? Why is my skeleton not here? Hmm. Mr. Skeleton, where did you go? I didn't know how to book there. It's chorus lost. Okay, well, I need to take one uh, quick break. Be the last break of the stream. And we've got about two hours to go. So, thank you all very much for watching. I'll be back shortly. Enjoy the video.